Dear children, welcome to another session of children's liturgy. This is the seventh Sunday of Easter. The theme for this week is Jesus has prepared us and called us. Let us listen to the gospel reading. Looking up to heaven, Jesus said, "Father, now I must return to you, and leave these friends behind. I have shared your word with them, and watched their faith in you grow, while many others chose to doubt. I have watched over them, and kept them safe from danger, and those who wish them harm. Now, I am sending them out into the world, and I ask you to watch over them always." And keep them in your care. It's hard to say goodbye. Remember the first day at nursery or primary one, when you had to say goodbye to your parents. Do you remember how it felt having to leave your parents for many hours, and being in a place with people you don't know all by yourself? Sometimes goodbyes are difficult, and sad. Some of us have to say goodbye to close family, relatives, friends, people you have come to know and love, when you leave to stay in another country for a long time. Sometimes goodbyes are painful. Some of us have beloved pets that have passed away, or even close family members or relatives who have passed away. Imagine you were going to say goodbye. To someone you love very much, and you will not see the person for a long, long time. Most of us will feel very sad, and lost. In today's gospel reading, Jesus was speaking with his disciples right after the Last Supper. He knew it was the last time he would be speaking to them, before he was going to be crucified. He knew it was going to be painful for them to see him suffer. He knew they would feel very sad and lost, and afraid of what lay ahead of them. However, Jesus was a good shepherd. He already knew that they would be feeling this way, and has already made preparations for them before he left them. Before I share about what Jesus did. Let me tell you a true story. This happened a few years ago. A friend of mine found out that she had late stage cancer. The doctor told her that it was very serious, and she had about two years to live. She was very sad, and devastated because she had a family, and her daughter was still very young. She could not bear to think of leaving her family, especially. Her young daughter. She felt heartbroken, thinking about her daughter not having a mother by her side to talk to, to celebrate happy times with, to cry and share problems with. A mother who will cook the food that she loves, and who will care and love her. However, she decided to put her sadness aside, and make the best of the remaining time she had with her daughter. She stopped working, so that she could spend more time with her family. Other than helping her with her schoolwork, they also spent a lot of time doing things together, watching their favorite movies, reading and playing together, going for fun outings. She taught her daughter sewing and cooking, and she took many photos and videos of the happy times they shared. Time went by. Days flew into months, and months to a year. After a year, the therapies and medication could no longer help her get better. She grew weaker and more tired by the day. One day, she passed away, leaving behind her family and loved ones. Everyone was very sad, especially her daughter. Before she passed away, she passed her daughter a book. In it, she wrote many letters to her daughter. She gave her advice about life when she reaches the different ages. Shared with her how she could face challenges, 
and left her words of wisdom, love, and encouragement. Her daughter treasures the book, because whenever she reads the letters, she is reminded of her mother's love. And it was as if her mother was by her side as she grew. She also had many photos and videos to remember her mother. You see, my friend did everything she could to prepare her daughter, so that even though she was no longer with her, her daughter will always be reminded of her mother's love. Today, even though she still misses her mother's hugs, her warm words, her presence, and the time they shared, she carries her mother's love in her heart. The letters, photographs, and videos are reminders of her mother's deep love for her, and give her strength and assurance every day. She knows that her mother is in heaven, and they will be reunited one day. In the same way, like how parents love their children, Jesus loved his disciples, and they loved him too. In the three years when they followed Jesus, their hearts were moved by his preaching about God's love. They learned about what it truly meant to be a disciple of God. They knew in their hearts that Jesus was truly the Son of God, because they experienced him. Not just through his preaching, but also by his words and actions. They are moved by the signs and wonders he had performed to heal the sick, the lonely, and broken-hearted, and brought hope to many. Jesus was their close friend, their leader, their shepherd. They would feel lost without him. Through Jesus, they got to know that their mission was to share God's love with others. Unknown to the disciples, in the three years Jesus was with them, he had been preparing them for the time that he was going to leave them. Through their time together, Jesus helped them to grow in their faith in God. In his final words to his disciples, Jesus prays for all of them. By committing them all to God, he also prayed. Now I am sending them out into the world, and I ask you to watch over them always, and keep them in your care. In these words, we know that Jesus has commissioned his disciples to preach, and share God's word and love to everyone. He asked God to watch over them. Always, and keep them in His care. We know that the disciples were faithful, and God did watch over them, because God sent the Holy Spirit to them. And through the Holy Spirit, they performed signs and wonders in Jesus' name, and shared the word of God. Today, two thousand and twenty-one years after Jesus has left His disciples. The love of God has been shed to so many people around the world. Many faithful Christians still continue to share God's love. My dear children, this special prayer that Jesus has prayed is not just for his disciples, but also for you and me. Just like the mother who prepared her daughter for different stages of her life as she grows. And like Jesus, who prepared his disciples to share God's word by helping them grow in faith. Do you know that you are growing in knowledge and faith in God when you take part in catechism classes like children's liturgy? Do you listen closely to what Jesus wants to tell you during these lessons? Do you spend time to read the Bible with your parents? Do you spend time praying to God and listening to Him? Dear children, Jesus has commissioned you and me to be His faithful disciples and go out into the world to share His love. Now, what is the world? It does not mean to go out to all the countries in the world, though there are some missionaries who do. The world refers to the people God has placed in our lives, our family, our relatives, our friends. 
teachers, and our neighbors. How do we share God's love? We do that by sharing who Jesus is and by being loving and kind in our actions and words. Many people around you might not know who God is. That is why God is calling me and you to be channels of His peace and love for them. Do people feel God's love when they are with you? You will be better at it when you pray and recall what Jesus did and what you have learned from children's liturgy and the Bible. My dear children, I pray you will always keep God's love in your heart and be faithful in sharing His love. As in Jesus' prayer, God will always watch over us and keep us in His care. May God bless you.